Crow, why don't you come in here? We're ready. This is our first van trip. Our first van trip together as well. This is a story about Devin, Roberta, and a van. These first time RVers were on a mission to unite the van, the Pleasureway Tofino, with its namesake. A small coastal village at the western edge of Vancouver Island. Beautiful Tofino, British Columbia. The origins of this story run deep for our three main characters. For the Tofino, it all started with the Pleasureway Traverse, the first pop-top camper van Pleasureway ever built. The Tofino marks a return to the pop-top way of life. And what better way to honor this new era than by christening the Tofino with a road trip to its homeland? As for Devon, dreams of this trip started long before the launch of the Tofino. It started in 1996 when a seven-year-old Devon was featured in a commercial for Pleasureway. Thinking no one was watching while he secretly ate prop chips during takes, a new storyline was set in motion that day. Little did young Devon know that this staged camping trip would manifest into a real one over 20 years later. The year of 1996 proved to be more serendipitous than an RV commercial. The same year as Devon's Pleasureway debut, a parallel storyline was taking place for Roberta. This was also the year Roberta took a family trip with her sister and mom to visit Vancouver Island for the first time. This one-off family vacation would plant the seed in Roberta to one day return to the magical island. Our two parallel stories finally intersect with Devon and Roberta about to embark on their first RV trip and first time to Vancouver Island together. Never really packed a van before. I hope we don't bring too much stuff. It was packed a little cleaner when we left, but you know how it goes. Okay, we're pretty much packed up here. Inflatable paddleboard. Skateboard. Luggage. Barbecue for the quick connect. Cords and tape and, and stuff like that. Day night shades right here. And snacks. A lot of snacks. This is what we got going on inside. A couple of pillows, camera bag. All right. How do you feel? Are you, do you feel better now that we're all packed up? A little bit. <laughs> we got to get to Calgary tonight. It's a little later than we'd like to depart, but it's just Calgary, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, let's get the pop, put back down, and hit the road. A mere 1,843 kilometers of Canadian prairies, Rocky Mountains, and Pacific rainforest was all that separated these amateur van lifers from their destination. The plan is twofold. One, embark on a good old fashioned Canadian road trip to unite the Tofino with its namesake town. And two, live up to childhood dreams with a once in a lifetime RV adventure to one of the most stunning places in Canada. Officially out of Saskatchewan. What do you think, bro? Excited. <laughs> well, all right, shall we? On to Alberta. Okay, it is the morning of day two. We made it to Calgary late last night, got in around midnight. Luckily, I have a friend who lives here and we stayed outside his house. It's like four degrees Celsius in Calgary right now, raining. We actually had the furnace on last night and that thing heats the coach up real quick. Uh, it was nice, quiet, pretty good. Okay, that was night one. Day two, off to Kelowna. All right, just about to hit the road to Banff, but first, coffee. coffee. Vlog, vlog, vlog. We made it to Banff. It's snowing. Oh, 
All right, so we did a quick jaunt through Banff, checked out the downtown area. Now we're up at Lake Louise. Tofino's handling super well so far in the mountains. Let's go check out the lake. Cool, the fog makes it look very eerie and interesting. <laughs> it's a cool lake. What, what, what do you want me to say? First time here, we'll be back. Is that the first five star Yelp review? Yeah, 100% incoming. Would, would recommend. First time here, would recommend. That's what I was trying to say the first time. Alright, we're just about in Golden. We just pulled off the side of the road for a little break. Check this out. How are you liking the view, Ro? It's great. It's really beautiful out here. Nice pitch stop? Yeah. Bro, keys. All right, back on the road. Let's do this. Your destination is on the left. Well, I think this is where we're gonna stay tonight. Hello. Okay, well, we left Calgary at 8 a.m. this morning. It is now 9 p.m. We're in Kelowna. We are in the Walmart parking lot. This is where we're gonna be spending the night. You know, if you're an RVer traveling from one destination to another, in our case, Saskatoon to Tofino, you gotta spend a night in the Walmart parking lot. So that's what we're doing. How you feeling, Ro? Good, we're gonna get a bite to eat just at one of the restaurants nearby and hit the hay. We are yeah. exhausted and we've got an early day tomorrow. So. Very excited to hit the bed tonight, I gotta <laughs> say. So we're ready for bed in the Walmart parking lot. But one of the awesome things about the Tofino is you can completely black out the van from the outside. So as you can see, it looks completely dark, but check out the lights we have on on the inside. Check it out. We have all the lights on inside the van, but you can't see anything from the outside, and that's especially great when you're in a public space, like a Walmart parking lot. Okay, so as you can see, we have the bed made up. In order to fold down the sofa, we had to move some of our cargo from the rear up into the loft. So we just popped up the roof put our bags up there and then in the morning we're ready to go we'll put the storage back in the rear area put the couch back up put the extra support back up there and hit the road Alright, well that was our big night in Walmart. We're all packed up, ready to head to Vancouver.
made it to our friend's house in the van. We gotta find a place to park now. All right, so we made it to Vancouver. Super pumped to be staying at our pals Spencer and Delaney's house for the night. We're just gonna park the van outside on the road. Uh, we're gonna get cleaned up, have a shower, and get ready for the three days in Tofino. Heading out for supper with our pals. Beautiful night here in Vancouver. A brief intermission for a closer look at the 2022 Tofino. kick this tour off in the overhead bunk area. There are two screens on each side of the pop top. There's also a large window behind me that lets in lots of light when you need it. The bed itself is 49 inches wide by 72 inches long, and it features a two inch foam mattress. And just for reference, I'm six foot four. Okay, onto the kitchen. We have our stainless steel sink, single lever cold water faucet, and our induction stove. All right, below the kitchen, we have our AC DC Dometic refrigerator. And then we have two storage compartments, a large one right here below the sink, and a secondary one right here below the countertop. Both the fresh and gray water holding tanks are located inside along this back wall, making the Tofino more livable in cold weather. Okay, the Tofino is heated with the Truma Vario Heat LP furnace, and both ducts for the furnace are located right here. The Tofino also features MCD roller shades on the interior windows. Heading into the rear of the Tofino, we have our sofa. Now this sofa features two lap belts. Also, we have this table on a tripod base. So you can move this into the rear area here or use the two swiveling seats in the front to eat. Now, the sofa also converts into the bed. Let's do that now. And that's all it takes to make up the 54 by 72 inch bed. The Tofino is powered from two 100 amp hour lithium ion coach batteries and all major functions of the van are centralized to this 10 inch touchscreen control panel. The highlight of the touchscreen is in-depth monitoring of your coach batteries. This includes an estimation gauge that'll tell you how long you can run with the current DC power draw on your van. The Tofino also features a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This is an essential feature for when you're dry camping because it'll power all your 110 volt outlets, including the induction stove, and run them off the battery bank. So it's completely up to you with what you want to power as long as it's under 2000 watts. This could be a small heater, maybe a heat gun, I don't know, electric sawzall, and whatever this is. I think it's called a hot airbrush. It's a combination between a blow dryer and a hairbrush. Either way, they'll all be powered off your inverter. All right, we're in the rear storage area of the Tofino. We have a spray port. We have another 110 plug and a USB charging port here. This is the telescoping ladder that you can use to get access to the roof rack or to get into the overhead bunk. And this entire space has 70 cubic feet of available storage, so it's totally customizable to fit anything you want to take with you. Okay, now the rear screen is deployed. We currently have it in privacy mode with the blackout blind in place, however, and you can have it set up with the screen so you can get airflow inside the van without the worry of bugs. The side entrance door also has a screen door, and this screen features a magnetic catch. So when you go in and out of the van, the screen door automatically closes behind you. The Tofino has a few optional features available. First would be the off-road package, including the Toyo Open Country all-terrain tires and the Black Rhino matte black wheels. You also have the option to get up to 200 watts of solar and this heavy-duty roof rack that can hold up to 200 pounds. Okay, that's your look at the 2022 Tofino. Back to the road trip. OK, 
Okay, it's the start of day four. We just left our friend's place in Vancouver. We are now at the ferry, gonna head to Nanaimo, and then off to Tofino. Vancouver Island. Three nights and just over 1,600 kilometers to get here. A rugged paradise. 460 kilometers tip to tip, 80 kilometers at its widest point. The largest island on the west coast of North America. Old growth forests, untamed shorelines, one of the planet's most diverse ecosystems. And most importantly, only 207 kilometers left to get to Tofino. at Cathedral Grove. We were recommended this by quite a few people, so we're gonna check it out. <laughs> Shout out to that PW. Tofino, we're coming for you. I just checked the odometer at about 2,000 kilometers. And check it out! We're here! Woo! We made it. Good to surf. <laughs> it's a treacherous road on the way up here. Jeez. The Tofino handled it like a champ. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go through the town site real quick and then find our camp spot for the night, which we have an ocean view. So I'm really pumped to see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, Tofino! <laughs> Tofino! Tofino! <laughs>
So we're all set up at our campsite at the Bella Pacifica campground. We have this amazing ocean view on the second terrace, which I'm super excited about. Feels super good to be in Tofino. Pumped to spend a couple days here and really tour around a little bit. Should be good. Catch you guys tomorrow. Cheers. So that's all we've basically been doing. We've just been putting a blanket down, sleeping bag on top, two pillows against the back window, <sighs> and it's been okay. Whether it's a weekend getaway or touring across the country, only your imagination can limit the freedom and adventure you'll find while traveling in your pleasure way. You possess the ability to pick up and go, leave your worries behind and enjoy the good things in life. Pleasure Way van motorhomes are designed to be user friendly with the utmost attention to detail and quality. The fully equipped kitchen makes meal preparation a breeze. Pleasure Way's continual evolution of van motorhomes provides you with the most contemporary layouts and designs as well as the highest standards. Not a bad view to wake up to, I gotta admit. It smells good too.
Made it to Long Beach. Super pumped to get these boards out on the water. We're checking out the conditions before we commit to this spot. Because we know what we're doing. <laughs> right? Right. I see other surfers out here, so that's a good sign. Well, I see one other surfer. Well, this is our last night in the Tofino area. We had a long day exploring the coast. We went down to Long Beach, did some surfing, did some paddle boarding. We went down to Uculet after that and explored that town, which was super fun. But we have officially checked into our last campground. Check this out. I heard this place was good. Didn't think it'd be this good. Holy cow, look at this tree. The Tofino is in its element here. And look who I found, all showered up. Aero, what do you think of this site? Incredible. Pretty sweet for the last night in Tofino. <laughs> This is a story about Devin, Roberta, and a van. The story has led us to the van's namesake town our main character set out to discover. What started as an attempt to unite a van with its origins has evolved into a meaningful connection to an extraordinary place. A place that often feels like the edge of the world, where you're surrounded by forces that dwarf you in size and power. A place that expands your perspective and reminds you of the interconnectedness of all things. Endless beaches and perpetual waves, ancient forests, mystery, beauty. Tofino. Check out this pit stop locale. There's a feeling Tofino evokes that sparks an intense curiosity about the world. A curiosity that reconnects you to a childlike spirit often missing from our lives. A spirit Devin and Roberta felt throughout their time together on this van life maiden voyage. A spirit that's left them with a deeper bond to the dreams and memories of their younger selves. As our journey in Tofino comes to an end, maybe it's time you too set out to rediscover the dreams you once had, returning to a time when curiosity and wonder came effortlessly, and see where it takes you. We're just packing up from one of our last campsites of the trip. Here's Ro. Some nice tree coverage. I think we have the best spot in the parking lot. 